Ladies and gentlemen, the king is here. Back with another banger, back with an episode of Genshin Impact. I know. Whoa. It's been a minute, has it? Actually, while I'm talking, when was my last Genshin Impact VOD? If you're wondering why I haven't been playing it in a minute, I haven't. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. About time, y'all already know who I am. I'm looking for something to do. And are you thinking, they just had an event. I need, I have too many questions. And I really don't feel like going through an event to, 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 so we can, you know, pop cherries all day, you know? But, but Star Rail, they've been feeding me. Now, I know the next, whatchamacallit, isn't happening anytime soon. But Dane Quest, I got reminded yesterday that that is happening sooner rather than later. Uh-oh. Where is it? Ah, uh, three weeks ago. Damn! Well, and then I got to hop back on because my baby, <laughs> ah, I know it is, but they quest is coming up soon. If they give me an event like they did, like how they used to, but like, it's kind of, it's really story driven. Like it's really, you know, it's really, it's really something Then I'll definitely play it. But until then I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling on the game. I've been grinding on star rail and star rail has been having my attention. Anyways, y'all ready? All right. Ooh, Nephew. Oh, man. What's up, Jono? Hold on. We got to start. <sighs> I think the last one I skipped through. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Mm -hmm. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Mm -hmm. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. Obviously, this is based on Rome. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. Uh -huh. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! I was trying to get pissed. I was On close. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. <laughs> they hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. The oh, fuck? They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. Okay, I'm glad After you're just. All, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd. Is that a the shark? Next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Cha, she looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. Everlasting as the moon. We in back order, in the once given cannot be rescinded. Who the fuck is that? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? Really oh! Looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. 
I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. What the I'm fuck? We have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass filled with tainted water. We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz. So I'll just take a breather. Can we just take a second? Can we just? <laughs> Amen. I asked for it. Did I not? I said, hey, I'll get back into it if they give me something to do. Hey! Appreciate it. This don't even, the crazy part is, this don't even look like the dating quest. It just looks like them niggas was stirring something up. They was stirring something up. Like it was... <laughs> Okay, let me see. Uh, ooh. Who's the voice of the female traveler, Lumine? Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yay. Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. Yeah! But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Mm. Hey, everyone! My name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arla Kino, the father of the House of the Hearth. Yeah. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Shit I'm for the so get nasty. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and mm -hmm. he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. <laughs> What up? It's me, Max. He's Lopez. not making that sound with his Everybody, mouth. What's going on, my bros, my guys, my dudes? Dude. So good. Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. All right. Well, without any further delay, mm -hmm. let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. This seems like it's two completely separate events in one, though. Content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Mm -hmm. Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based boobity, boobity, on boobity. the most recent uh. intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, mm -hmm. It takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, mm -hmm. at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. This sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, uh -huh. is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage. Very complicated. The, Nave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. Correct. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Latino? Okay. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. I thought she it. said our okay, okay, uh, Latino. I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. <laughs> what me. kind of person do you think the Knave is? Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but right. she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? Yeah. I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? 
I think Damon Pretty is probably strict. the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? No way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. I know it. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. You think um, she'll pin me down? All right. It chain me like up? she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I'll I think whatever. Arlecchino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. Mm -hmm. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Who hurt this name? <laughs> I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, There's got to be. Okay, now that's very sharp of you. Ooh. Let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit. What? Longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why do the children call her father? That's a good ass ah, motherfucking well, question. If you're curious about Arlecchino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Okay, now, so that's just I a whole spoil different game event thing. By saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlecchino's unique charm mm -hmm. after they've experienced her entire story. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, Focus. if you use the feature while playing Arlecchino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. Thank God. That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Thank Besides God. the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I oh, selfishly thank also God. think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlecchino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it doesn't even look like she uses Pyro for real. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. Ah! Uh, I can't promise you'll like what you see. I'll get lost in your eyes, please. Transfixed. I swear, I mean, she got a wing like a phoenix, but that's really all. I love it, though. I ain't complaining. Does she have a scythe? Or am I tripping? She does have a scythe. I'm guessing that's just a poly arm, right? <laughs> not for to add like a it's completely new weapon to the game. Oh, oh, <laughs> Dude, so cool. that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the fourth harbinger. A boy's yes, ruthless yes. diplomat yeah, to the children of the heart. Like, of the heart. A she's a feared yet like dependable father. But deadly, like a, yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes, ballerina of death. She is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlecchino's combat abilities, then mm -hmm. we're going to have to talk about the Bond of Life mechanic. Bond of uh, Life. You might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. What? Does anyone still remember what a Bond of Life is? Uh, oh, wait, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say. She does have a slice, wait, though. I, I think I remember. Am it's I tripping? The portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So ah. they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, mm -hmm. her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which Ooh. can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of the current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> right, so when it's still done. simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so <laughs> Arlecchino can give herself a bond of life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that 
that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> 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 I like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Okay. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies a blood debt directive to any blood enemy that it hits, directive. which will oh, damage oh. them periodically. Okay, and when she damage uses over time. A charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't okay. worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? Right. So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on uh, her attack. And we're her getting a lot of characters uh, who can heal okay. themselves. God Thanks damn. To one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, okay. So I mean, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to herself. I was going to say, she's really self sustaining. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> like she needs therapy. <laughs> she's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So, Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack. Mm. Right? Special Ooh, kind of movement. That looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah. And. We got a character that can walk on water. A character that can float, and now we got a character that can fly. For putting some serious pressure on them. Like she just yeah. across a river <laughs> immediately. Uh huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. Oh my God. Let's do it. I'm about to. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. What the the all new five star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also hey, be. Hey, chat. I've there. never won the summon for a weapon. The Wanderer and but. Will return in the second uh, phase. Chat, you so can put sure all your money in the one Yay! banner. GG's. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon. Put all your money in one banner, Chad. Like share? <gasps> GG's. Actually, I do. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss the new weekly boss. Oh. That, mm, that shit is we were hard. Just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> a third side. That's right. Are you ready to see a new knave? Yes, ready? I am ready. So ready. Oh, this music. What was that little guy? She just killed that little guy. That shit looks so fucking hard. Yo, my frames? Somebody's iPhone's gonna fucking explode. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of something I just can't fucking remember. Not Bro. even Linny and Fremenay have seen this side of her before. Mm. Jesus so Christ. The knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> badassitude? Mm -hmm. It's not so simple to see the knave's <laughs> other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson waiting to counter your attacks mm -hmm. yeah it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom what the fuck range. Mm -hmm. yeah it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand like bro <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like she doesn't what want vibe is this giving me or running away from conflict instead she hopes that they'll be fucking sephiroth even if their opponent is their own father the outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced 
But damn, if she you does to outheal the bond of life. The knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Okay. Don't the she just shoots a fucking beam. Like spiders. <laughs> yes, yes, she just shoots a fucking beam. Oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. What? <laughs> it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> that shit looks so fucking cool. So, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players really? would have to progress oh. the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, going to the Domains tab, selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4. Oh my. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned <sighs> for more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. I was going to say. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Well, what is this? And an actual... For some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? As bars. right there. Oh. As bars. <laughs> That's Oops. bars. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because That's someone bars. involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share. This was the connection. least likely, one of the most leak likely characters I expect to get a part two. Right. <laughs> serious shenanigans. Violence if the situation gets too complicated. Yes. Serious shenanigans. But I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. Is that a black man? A serious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kave, <laughs> Al Haytham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. Where's my girlfriend at? Where's my girlfriend at? I better have a good explanation why. So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story. Hey, man, all my homies Lucas hate Vinci. <laughs> Vinci's never getting a part two. And Did investigate you? the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait. Nigga said, wait. wait. Really? Wait. Yes. Wait. Wait. I changed my mind now. Nah, we just presented too much information to No, we haven't. Can we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Oh, Damon, please. please. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code first. before we continue introducing the new content. Nick has been 20 minutes. We only got 20 minutes left. <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> so that was unexpected. Honestly, I thought this was going to be too big for a story quest. I thought her story quest was going to be something to fuck else. It's not. I'm perfectly fine with that. This that means this this is going to be an intricate story wrapped up in two hours. Fucking What's his face getting a story quest? Did not expect it. That new character, obviously, is going to be a new character that we get. What is this kid? Who the fuck knows? What is this element? Hopefully not Geo. Anything but Geo, I'll be cool with. Um, do we have? I don't think we have any. No, we have like two anim animal characters. And from Sumeru, is it two? I feel like there's two. New character does look hard. Am I summoning for her? I will. Am I spending money? Oh, probably. I I'll spend a couple thousand on her. Nothing too crazy. I don't know what else they could be talking about. More than likely, 
they're talking about updates to the game hey, or some shit. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, a new area hey. showcase. I'll shut my ass. I told you the story of Arlecchino and the House of the Hearth. So, why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which obviously this is somewhat part. based on Rome. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> a good job. Yes, yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Mm -hmm. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. So, Valentino. <gasps> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? I thought that was a whale okay, in the middle. Now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye. Right? Obviously, it's going to be yeah, underwater. I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom yeah. of Murray's remains lay at rest. So, how big was a whale glorious and or a shark? Nation, really? Oh, well, now that you say Why that, is there a cat the underwater? It's a whole lot bigger. Now that's a What is he doing there? He just He just comes out this corner as if shit is the like what are you doing? <laughs> town looks a whole lot bigger uh, what the yeah, fuck trick <clears throat> anyway <laughs> random ass <laughs> fucking cat a talking cat with its guidance we okay he's okay that vanished thousands of years ago but imagine he was the man i mean the manager the mayor of anything for a talking cat <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. Okay. <laughs> I will explain it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Mm -hmm. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but Preach. you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnant slumber what the in the hell? depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Is that a dragon? So you'll That's be a able whale to shark obtain chat. powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places Ooh. where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle. That boy. Silently proclaiming the immortality. Also, the, yeah, so this is heavily going to be based on Rome. It and a little, a little bit of Greek mythology, maybe a... Ancient ruler. Oh, just yeah, just right. like literally like this much. Marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. Marble and brass. You can earn mm. all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Look how, oh, oh he playing a violin? That shit is hard. That is a great question. That shit is hard. who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, that shit is hard. will automatically unlock a teleport Oh my waypoint. goodness, I'm about to bust. Thank you. Okay, y'all have plots and plans for that little, that little, that little dick piece of map. You have plots and plans. You didn't want to tell nobody though. Do you know how mad I would have been? You know how pissed I would have been? If that little dick piece of map just never got filled up, ah. Oh. Village of Petricor. Jesus Hopefully Christ. This helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting! I know. So cool. I think it won't all be right, all of the map though. I swear, if they Fontaine keep edging me, I don't got time for and this now, shit. Outside of the region. <laughs> dot dot dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. <laughs> all right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. What? Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Rock and roll, Inazuma. That's why he's here. What the hell? It's a boat. If this doesn't, bro, like, okay, Dane Quest hopefully fills up that part of the map, please. Jesus Christ. I'm sick of this shit. Just, just fill it up. Just fill it all the way up till you can't fill it no more. Rock and roll. I know it's not going to be skins, bro. Genshin, you know for a fact 
her skin, the fucking, well, I'm gonna call her, us, 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 it's something Latina, I keep hearing that, our, our, you know her, you know her ball skin is not finna be in the game, just make that a skin, please, do you know how much money you will get off me, and other people of the sort, just please, man, Jesus, hold on, where my, man, I love Latinas, god damn, but yeah, Get get like. Welcome please. back, everyone. Hey, <laughs> who okay, is this I nigga? I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, you and think the it... organizer is none other. This is the last time I'm gonna pause it. This is the last time I'm gonna pause it while they're talking, and I'm really up to bullshit. Why the fuck do they keep putting Goro out? I feel like this is like the fifth time this nigga has been like just the four star you get for completing the event. I keep seeing this man. Than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um, Dvorak. Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right. Yeah. Both Hu Tao and Shin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh. oh my gosh! And even the concert name sounds really epic. You know what's crazy? Oh, yeah. No, the way he says. Just looking at this, I was kind of iffy. For life, tour to force but this Ito nigga is gonna drag me into playing it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and the theme of this concert is about life, specifically. It's about a brave puppy about a who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I close my eyes, I can see you. Yeah, me too. I really hope the music festival of life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Why does the yeah. neck so long? Let's in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. How much you want to bet Ito is going to be breakdancing? He's going to spin on his head or spin on his back yes, at least one time. And here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand oh, I get a French horn. instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Chat, we're so getting a French horn. if you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it, and the I would pay big money for a private show for me, though. Why you Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Mm -hmm. Number one. Extreme Carnival Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some uh -oh. rhythm games. While nah, rhythm games. Wow, All right, those chat. Those look really unique. They got me locked they really in. Are. And the second I love a good rhythm game. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The, trilli the three big three fast. trees. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock and music festival without what these a rock and know. Menu. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 And lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. The meeting we can't of melodies. Have a party without adoring fans, so we got invite on. fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Hold on. After listening to their tunes, they make me a producer. The missing music notes. Oh, say so it three times fast. Sing. You just want me to end it all that on stream. Is super all right. Exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after yeah. we've rocked out to the pure spirit, y'all don't want me to stream no more. That's what y'all saying. Zuma, three times fast. I'm gonna swallow my tongue trying to. to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> Hold up, hold up. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? What? Yes! I Chat, love what the hell is this? Wind Trace. And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. Is this Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes yeah yeah is this dungeons correct. and dragons that's very intuitive but genshin yeah, impact playing hide and seek as well i don't see ah just like before but there are a few new rules Ooh. yeah when rebels are captured for the first time they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone exiled for a period of time damn now, they will be automatically freed after their time out but also their friends can try oh, they only to got two lives the zone early but <laughs> if they jail twice you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> Damn. It does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signals. What boxes, the fuck? <laughs> from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also. Nigga, is this dead by daylight? Holy devices, fucking shit. They win the match. 
Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. This shit look funny if as hell. Team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even so, more Miku. thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed mm. signaling state. What does it mm. mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. So it's in literally fact, dead by daylight. Okay, but you can saw, but you can hide. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing like, the come devices here, will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this thing like, running so fast. That can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting Trap to that play nigga. Out. Jesus. Oh, absolutely. And <laughs> I have anxiety <laughs> with you. will G. receive a rather strange commission. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, rather strange? Protagonist the wanted. Is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients. And uh, he wants to make friends with a This normal ass looking nigga. Uh, oh yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision. And a jade plume terror shroom. And the millennial pearl seahorse. Alright, man. Uh, you guys uh, saw me the first <laughs> time. Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway. Uh, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. Natlon? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really want to look at what this is, but I know it's going to spoil me. Y'all don't know how bad. I just resisted myself. If you seen the look in my eyes, you knew that I was this close to looking up what this was. But I know I can't. How people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait, <laughs> did you say... <laughs> they stick the Gohan cut on every character in this game just like they give every black character a high top dreadlocks, bruh. Like, bro, get, like, get, you could dark skin this nigga give him an afro or something. Like, bro, stop giving everybody the Gohan hair. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait. Did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, yeah. listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the. If you want to know the details. <laughs> but for now, it's time for me to introduce the gameplay. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. We hear you. All right, you can say, listen in. Yeah. In it. this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on guts. fearless difficulty. I ain't got nothing but guts. To Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving mm -hmm. you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies. They made one and background character called it again. You can what the fuck? Strategies at will. We were here pinning this man down. HP and level will change. Hey, yo, is this still getting an impact? Strategies that you've picked. Ooh, mm, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strat. Now, chat. Now, chat. Now, now, now. Actually, am I tripping? No, I'm not. You niggas would have got on me. You niggas would have been eating my eyes. I know there ain't a single person who ever watched any of my videos said anything about this. Well, but if I would have you, if I would have used Suck Rose and then this flame fucking thing, or like, ah, oh, look at the pyro damage doing on the pyro flower. I know if I look through every single one of these comments in the description, it's distracted, but nobody's gonna say about nothing about this. I know it for a fact. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come water. out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, the fuck? It seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order ah. to generate different effects. How did you get that conclusion? Yeah, so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my God. <laughs> that, means that is so much incredible. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Mm -hmm. Before each battle, you can set up vibro crystal harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the mm -hmm. receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, oh, you, you get can different effects. Varying harmonic effects. Uh, it's your custom.
custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramella Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. <laughs> you can get even more combat bonuses if you. I forgot this character flies too. Points. Well, she jumps, but each basically flies. We'll have different trial characters, so you can we get a we got a lot of movement characters. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Genius also, invocation the genius TCG. Invocation TCG event, the Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The heated battle mode will also receive an update. So holy don't fucking miss out, duelists. Holy. <laughs> and there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily oh, train up the thanks, characters. Obama. You'll need the extra boost. Is this going to be the end? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes. job. We got five yeah. more minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Am I and expecting anything? Absolutely not. So many events in one go. I feel like you deserve a little break. A little break. You know what? Oh, I yes, you agree. <laughs> I was gonna well, say I, I agree too. So, <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? When I looked up, there was meant to be a smile on my face, but it just didn't. <laughs> well, Chad, usually I'd be thinking, oh my gosh, there's five minutes left. What could they possibly show? I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. They're finna wrap it up. We finna get too, too much. Um, yeah, that's it. I believe this is the end of it. I was really wanting to skip ahead. I'm not going to. Am I going to play all these events? No. Am I going to play some of these events? Yeah. This Ito one is really intriguing. What was the one before that one? Oh, the nigga from Natlin? I'll probably play that one. This is the Natlin nigga. He'll prob he probably won't say anything, but you know, what if? If I'm really feeling it, Welcome I might. Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we uh, present system optimizations. I know it. Improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. I know it. First up, ah. we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such as the yeah. quick obtain feature. That Mr. Goddamn Noon. Call the fire department. Son of a bitch. The Appreciate you moving for eleven months. Yo, my computer just did a madness. That's how I know you from the fucking UK. Who the hell says did a madness? Nobody in my chat has ever said that nowhere. Nowhere in my community. My computer did a madness. I'm, I apologize, Mr. Noon. You come back and you got to listen to UK niggas talk. Thank you for 11 months. Appreciate it. You think you always fucking doing something. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> mm -hmm. so convenient. The mm -hmm. avatar mm -hmm. system will also be avatar. updated so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> The oh, last airbender? Fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's Arama. And the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue. Uh -huh. oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Mm -hmm. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The fuck is a treasure compass? will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Yeah. I'm not gonna use it. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've Eradication. got some updates to the game systems, it's mm -hmm. time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go music! Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus mm -hmm. Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team I was for the literally... new region of Fontaine and related. What was about to come out of my mouth? Ooh, yes. I was like, why do they take so long to release the music, but they released regular music oh, as well? No, I mean, the original music it as looks well. Like there's nothing left.
left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So I think that means uh -huh. it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, so. Is, so. is mm -hmm. there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, ooh, who are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Venn answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got no. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we did we did a lot of work so with her. Well. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. She's Sorry, so how much money cool. you spending on her? She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. Mm -hmm. That all my so money. Hard right. to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so so excited for you guys to experience this concert. Mm -hmm. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of of Genshin Impact than been saving since Nahida. What the fuck? Oh um, my gosh, yeah, it's that's be amazing. Fun. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped. For I kind of forgot the about the doctor chat. Because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds I remember like he kept popping up and I was sick and tired of that nigga. Things coming in version I he not popping up so anymore. I, hope I love excited. it. Yes, I am. Yeah. So excited. Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad <laughs> I got to be here with you guys. This was such guys. a great time. <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Okay, that's actually Bye. 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 See you later. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Cool beans. Chat, let's really get into the meat and potatoes, man. Yeah. <laughs> On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. Like, why the fuck would you start they this shit out like this? <laughs> eat with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next Oh. Mainly, we got a new area. More than likely going to have a world quest. I know I didn't do the last one. Because honestly, it didn't interest me that much. I'm going to be frank. I'm going to be honest. But this is a Fontaine world quest. Talking about the past of Fontaine. Something before Fontaine. Romulus and Romulus. The, Roman, the Romans that discovered Rome. And they got a little bit of Greek in it. And it has something to do with music. And they have music aspects in it. That's hard. <laughs> then you got Arcelino, Arcelino, Fort Fatui. Got a whole story quest. This shit looked like it was finna be an event. I thought this was whole thing was finna be an event. It's a whole story quest. Did that bother me? Not I one fucking bit. This set me free too. Thank you for the 13 oh, months, guys. We just know Damn. Damn. Appreciate you. Shit. Then we got the four for two. She got a whole story coming out. Like I said, I thought it looked like an event. I was like, oh shit, I was just talking about an event. Nah, it's a story. Hey, fuck it. Sure, I'll take it. I know it seemed weird. In my head, I'm like, when a new character comes out, the story usually comes out with a character. Why did I think it was an event? That shit just looked that good. Okay? It looked that good. Besides that, what's his face? Sino's getting an event. If he doesn't, I need this nigga to crack a couple more jokes. Because every time I crack a joke, they're like, Sino, I need him to crack a little bit more jokes in this one. And honestly, I didn't even see the whole time. We see, we see Traveler fighting the Harbinger. I don't see MC in Sino's story at all. It's only Sino. It's like, are we going to have this in his perspective only? Really is never the case with any of these stories. But I didn't see Traveler like walking around or nothing. So, you know. This time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deem- I'm over here thinking, what the fuck is the- is the fourth Arbiter in Sumeru? She supposed to be in Fontaine! I'm thinking they finna merge! I'm thinking this is the crossover of the century! It wasn't, but I'm still pleased. Deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan shrouded in secrecy 
We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot for some sort of project. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. What the fuck is this? That's gotta be the new character, right? That's gotta be the new character. Question is... He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja. What fucking project is this? That's why I was so fucking confused. I'm like, so is this actually emerging? When I first saw it until they said it's two separate things, who the fuck? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. No, that is whatchamacallit. That is her. But she said the old man. So is the old man with the glasses that look like fucking Igor from Persona? I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. Mm -hmm. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. What could this possibly be? What could this mission possibly be? And then she's handing over the father role to what's his, what's his face? Lenny! More than likely. Her attacks look nothing like Pyro Chad. Everlasting as the moon. And then she said the moon. She could have said the sun. She could have said the sun. An that would make more sense as a Pyro user. She rescinded. said the moon. Eclipse. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. And who? I really didn't oh. need to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. What the fuck did Sino do? You'd like me to return my power? Like, bro! I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Whoa, 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 Forward to this whoa. rite of duels. That's the old ass man that could have been talking. This could have been his assistant. Okay. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Mm, hold on, hold on. Really looking forward to this right of duels. I saw some niggas up here too. Yeah, some old ass niggas. The wisdom of her. I still don't see. Is that MC? Is that MC? I'm really looking forward to this. Was that MC? Duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis. I could have been. Would have been. It's not. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. Next king of the house. I have all the answers, but not but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass filled with tainted water. I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead. And I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No, Demi. That doesn't sound like... Does that sound like Lynette to y'all? Because I swear... I, I'm not, it, it really doesn't. Does that sound like Lynette? Because Lynette never... She'll never put... She'll never get too excited. She sound... If this is Lynette, she sounds stressed. Order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Oh no. I know all I'm know is I'ma love it. This nigga bullshitting, and both these two niggas are pissed. But it sounds like okay, it's not like he finna get in trouble for doing some bullshit. And they're finna be pissed, cause then they're gonna have to go up against father. And then the father's like, Lenny, I want you to be the next father, but you bullshitting to protect your brother. I don't know how the fuck this is going to turn out. I don't know what the fuck mission they finna do, but I'm excited. I'll be glad to get back in. The Did we get a date? Am I tripping? Chad, did we get a date? The horse needs to step on me. Chat, I don't know why y'all surprised. You know they be riding horses up there. Yeah. I, I'd be surprised if stepping is the only thing they want you want the horse to do to you. Anyways. 
in about 12 days cool beans i still have to beat what's his face in fucking in fucking honkai i've been trying to grind in that fucking game but that nigga like i've been trying to grind but shit i keep on getting bad fucking rolls anyways all right chat rhythm game i'm gonna lock in with it y'all finna catch me in the rhythm game and then hide and seek okay all right y'all 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 might see me in a little hide and seek you know just know i'm the hide and seek champion you think you're outrunning me i'm gonna break your ankle chat i'm gonna break your ankle anyways that's all i got for this episode Tune in next time for, well, the next, more than likely the next Gitchen video was going to be us playing the story mode. Um, the other story mode, uh, which I'm going to call it, of uh, What's-His-Faces, and probably Ito's event, more than likely. So yeah, like the video, so I know you like it, subscribe channel, get some more videos, send my videos, come out, comment, comment, any other video, I might have, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, keep it live, all the time, people can't say, I'm out of here.